Hello everyone, I'm Captain Mick 56 My videos are on Hero Plays Roblox if y'all are interested in seeing some more stuff. And this is a vehicle I made um, last week, and it's never really worked quite right since I made it. And I'm going to show you why today and discuss some of the properties of sand wheels. So the reason I use sand is that I've been told by at least one reliable source that I, I was considering reliable, um, that sand was the grippiest block in the game. And I was like, okay, take him at his word. And uh, I've been using sand for here and there uh, for several different builds, but have never really uh, put it to the test uh, until this one. And here you're seeing bounce. You're seeing the wheels hit the ground and they bounce like crazy. And it's very much like a lot of other types of wheels, like gold wheels that I've done, where ha they have an element of bounce to them that uh, is a little irritating and it's difficult to steer. They don't they don't stop when you want them to stop, and it's just better to have regular wheels. Um, but I've, I've spent a lot of time thinking about why this is, and then I decided to go ahead and test sand, just to make sure it is in fact the grippiest thing in the game. So uh, let's, let's do that. I'll show you what I come up with to test that. All right, here we go. I made a, made a slide. This is ice, and that is decidedly the most slippery thing in the game. Um, and I put a bunch of, of glue on here and then a bunch of blocks on the glue. And when I added the switch and clicked the switch, the switch bound to this glue block right here. So in my, in my testing, uh, I did like you know, five or six uh, tests and images, and I went counting up and see which block is grippier and which one wasn't. And uh, I was always missing glue, and I was like, what the heck's going on? Well, it had bound to the glue block, obviously, and uh, took, it, took it out of the, the picture there. So uh, in order to get around that, I have, I've eliminated that link and also decided that uh, you could probably notice there when I uh, flipped the switch that the glue all cleared from one end to the other end. It didn't all clear instantaneously. There's an order to things. It, the computers can only do one thing at a time. So um, anyway, uh, this big pink block is to solve that problem. So then I get my timing. So it's exact. All the blocks are going to release at exactly the same time, and they're going to slide down the slide, and you're going to get to see which one slide farthest the fastest. And I'm trying to get the entire slide in the view here so you can see it. And okay, I'm just going to delete that block. And there we go. Select all. Anchor. Okay, so um, what you... I let it go just a little bit too far because I wanted to separate things as much as possible. Uh, what you can't see here is the one that fell off. Okay, there's, there's the ice one that fell off the edge. So ice and foil are always, always the fastest ones around. Ice is always the fastest, followed very closely by foil. And when you see them up here on the on the platform, they're they're like the difference between like this one here where there's like a 0.5 difference to the edge and this one here which is just barely hanging over the edge. So so they're really close to each other, the the ice and the foil. Um, marble is always next, uh, followed by these three that seem to be bundled together all the time. So this is a very consistent pattern. I, I've done picture after picture after picture of this thing and just compared them, and uh, they are they're really consistent. Um, so the the ones that stand out, the rust block, the rusty metal, um, that one's that one's up here as as one of the grippiest, and then way up here, still at the top, barely started sliding at all, sand. So the the guy who told me that sand was the grippiest was right, and I've verified that time and time again. So now it leaves me wondering what in the world was wrong with my vehicle. So back to that. Okay, I got the vehicle loaded again. You, you may realize that I'm a, I'm a noob person here. I, my avatar doesn't look right. Uh, it's because Roblox is having issues right now. Uh, that's the reason I'm doing a video right now is because I can't really play the game very well. It's a little laggy and stuff. So these here, uh, I have turned off collision on, on this as a save file. And this is how I drive the thing. So I drive it just with these regular old wheels touching the ground because the sand is such a failure. But why it's a failure, I believe, if I if I get close enough to this thing, you can see that, uh, turn that tool off there, you can see that there's an overlap right here. I've got like a 0 .002 or something overlap. And, you know, this block overlaps this one, and this one overlaps that one. And if I move them apart from each other by 0 .01, you'll see there's a, a big gap then because you know it's it's actually more than than that so let's go from i'm going from 0.8 to 0.79 on that block and that was that was that block right there so now i'm going to do this one same way uh there we 
we go. So now you can see there's a gap. Now I think this would actually be better because I think what was happening is it's bouncing on these corners. Turn that tool off. So you can see there's there's a corner here and a corner here, and you can imagine as the wheel turns around, it hits this corner and the wheel's turning, so the next corner it hits is right there and it just bounces to the next corner. So you're really not getting a lot of surface area touching the surface of the ground or the, the water or whatever. Um, so I think that's the main problem. Now, this is 15 degree rotations that I use to make my wheels. I almost always use 15 degrees. The reason I use 15 degrees is because it helps minimize the amount of parts in motion. Minimizing the parts in motion helps reduce lag, which helps clear blocks faster, helps me get down the river faster. It's, it all adds into each other. It, it all, it's circular beneficial kind of thing. Uh, less parts, faster, better. Um, however, in this case, if you wanted to make large wheels out of sand so they would grip, I, I have a feeling that a five degree rotation might be better in some cases. But I haven't done it yet, so that's a later video. I'll have to redo something and, and invent something new to test that. Uh, but for right now, I think, uh, I think my answer would be to separate these things and, and leave a little bit more of a gap. So at least you get twice as many edges that it hits on. So if you separated this just a little bit more, it would hit on the edge of this block, and then it would hit on the edge of this block. So they're right next to each other, but if you separate them just a little bit more, you've got twice as many surface areas for them to hit on. Uh, if you did it out of five degree rotations and left a gap, then you would have like six times as many little bumps for them to hit on, and you'd probably have a lot more grip. Um, however, you'd have more blocks in motion. So I'm not sure where the trade-off is, where the benefit is. Um, but I want to show you this. The reason these wheels are so separated is that there's 12 wheels on this four-wheeled vehicle. Uh, let me just turn off this transparency. So here you can see my protection blocks, of course, so I kind of always do that. It's hard for me not to do that. Um, there's counterweight, there's a couple of jets. Uh, this mechanism here, of course, you, you guys will recognize it's a magnet mechanism that uh, will, will pull you down to the ground. Um, I tried it on this one, but because the way the structure is with the pistons in here, uh, it doesn't really work right. It kind of binds the pistons and it gets really bouncy and sometimes it just flings you out of the world. Um, so maybe not the best idea. The thrusters pointing down, they give downforce and they help to compensate for the, the bounciness. Uh, they also help to get a lot of grip and a lot of uh, tight steering. Uh, so uh, there's that. I'm going to select all. I unselected that one block so that things will remain here but instead of falling down into the uh, into the map. I want to show you what this looks like when it gets pulled together. So, so essentially, I've got if I can get out of the weeds here. Uh, this is the wheel that's that's first in line. It is collision off, and the only wheel that's collision on is this end one over here. So that one's got collision turned on. You can see right there. Uh, so that's actually the one that's doing the driving. And so this one spins at its speed, which is 50, and then this one spins at 50, and this one spins at 50. Now we got the wheel torque turned all the way up, so it's a little crazy, but it's really fast. Uh, I use gold to uh, connect the tire on this one, the spinning part, to the piston. Uh, you have to sit it back. Uh, the pistons are 0.7 across from one side to the other side, so 0.7. Remember that, and you have to subtract that from your from your, your calculations. Uh, and then on this one, I had to subtract out the width of this block right here. And there's a little extra on this one. Um, anyway, I just played with it until I, I got it all compensated and got it all working right. Um, but if I push the button, it brings them all together. So it looks kind of neat. Uh, this, this is not anything really new. You can find YouTube videos about this and how to exactly do it. Um, I just sort of figured it out as I went, so I'm not going to tutorial it because, well, I'm not really that good at figuring it out again. I figured it out once. It was bad enough. Uh, I'm not going to say I recommend this. It was interesting. It's fun, but well, I don't know. Nothing too, uh, nothing too enlightening about it, really. Um, collision on on this little spike thing that sticks up here. Uh, that keeps you from tipping over and getting stuck upside down. Uh, just kind of protects your head. Um, Everything else there is pretty much uh, just like my normal. So I got that one block of collision. So this this thing is uh, it'll go. So uh, now of course I don't have those sand wheels. You can see how they sunk in. So I'm actually riding on the regular wheels, not the sand.
I'm just going to zip to the treasure and then call it a call it a day. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope Roblox gets their uh, stuff fixed soon. I have a feeling they probably will. Um, we'll all be back in back in uh, action here pretty soon. All right. So this is uh, this is really difficult to drive with the protection blocks exposed. So I'm going to turn those off because wow, I can't see where I'm going. I still can't see where I'm going. What's that? There we go. Perfect. Oh, lost a wheel. So the cool thing about this is if you don't launch and you lose one of those wheels, you have more wheels. So you just turn collision off on the next, or turn it on on the next wheel, and then you can go again, and you've got all your wheels. That one's a little slower because it's not spinning at the same rate as the other three are. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. The old wheels have a slippery nature to them anyway, so it kinda, it's kind of forgiving when it comes to that kind of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Use sand for wheels if you want to have some grip. Bye-bye.